Philip Hank's 50th birthday. He received the gift of a new liver, stomach, intestines, pancreas, and kidney. Philip is the father of six, an IT professional, who loves telling the story of how he met his wife Tiva in a flower shop. He was a healthy bodybuilder when he started noticing this. I began dropping weight rapidly. I was always tired. During a routine physical for life insurance in 2007, he got confirmation that something was very wrong. Philip needed a new liver. My first liver transplant did not go well. I wound up in a coma for a week and they had to um, massage my heart with their hand because I crashed during the surgery. Despite the difficult start, Philip recovered from that surgery and lived an active life until extreme pain in 2019 sent him to the hospital, where he stayed for over six weeks for tests. It was in the consultation with Dr. Mangus and uh, Allison Brown, uh, his, his nurse practitioner, that Dr. Mangus told me, no, you need a liver, a kidney, um, upper and lower bowel, and um, a stomach. And that's when I kind of freaked out. The multi-organ transplant is, is a specialty that I have, and I've... Even with about 275 multi-organ transplants to his credit, Dr. Mangus was still concerned about transplanting five new organs into Philip. When I read through his records, I said, this is crazy. Um, this is going to be very high risk, and, and, um, and I don't know that we should do this. But conversations with Philip changed Dr. Mangus's mind. After I met him and his wife, I was convinced if anybody could get through this surgery, it, it would be him. How you feel? I feel pretty good. Uh, I don't have as much pain or anything. The pain is decreasing. And um, I mean, I'm up walking. Yeah, I'm impressed. <laughs> Very impressed with you. Thank you, man. Transplant is the ultimate team sport. There are so many people involved, and you all have to work together. All right, you up. How does it feel? When it comes to the best thing for the patient, we all get together, we all come to an agreement, we all work hard for that patient. Great job with your steps. Philip's 50th birthday present, five working organs, took months of recovery and community support. Hey, hey, hey. there he goes. <laughs> now Philip hopes to encourage people who are going through similar medical challenges and to inspire others to become organ donors. Making it to 50 years old, uh, going through everything that I've been through, and I've been through a lot, was just uh, remarkable. Philip's primary message is this. First and foremost, have faith. God is still in the miracle business, and business is good. I'm a prime example of that. Happy birthday to you. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm T.C. Newman.